Hey guys, welcome back. It's Brittany Lee, the Bio Geek, and I'm Brittany Foray, here to make another anatomy video for you guys. So this one's gonna be pretty humorous. And I don't really mean funny because I'm not typically a funny person. I mean, I'm literally gonna cover the humorous in this video. So we're gonna cover what this bone is, what it articulates with, and what the landmarks are. So let's start by talking about the humerus from the most proximal or nearest to the origin, and then we'll go down and talk about the most distal or farthest from the origin of these landmarks. So first we're gonna have the part of the humerus that's gonna articulate with the glenoid cavity like we saw in our previous video. That's gonna be the head of the humerus. Next is gonna be a smaller, slightly smaller diameter structure located immediately below the head of the humerus. That's gonna be the neck. So just like you have a head that sits on top of your shoulders and a smaller diameter neck that sits right below your head, the humerus and the femur, which we'll see in a future video, they both have a head and a smaller diameter neck. Now, if you look a little bit uh, off to the side of the head or more inferiorly to the head, what you're gonna see are two tubercles. So a tubercle is a bony protrusion that pops out of the bone. So on the humerus, you have two tubercles. One is gonna be larger and located more superiorly or towards the, surf uh, the top surface of the bone. That's gonna be your greater tubercle. Now on the inferior aspect or more below and slightly smaller, you're gonna have the lesser tubercle. Now, if you look at this bone, I forgot to mention, I wanna orient you guys to the anterior versus the posterior side. So the posterior side is gonna have this little fossa here. It's called the olecranon fossa and I'll talk about that more when we get to the bottom, but that's gonna be your posterior aspect of this bone. Now, if you flip it over, this irregularly shaped structure here at the most distal aspect of your humerus, that's called the trochlea. And the trochlea is going to be on the anterior surface. Now, you know that the shoulder blade, the head of the humerus, goes into the shoulder more medially. So your head of your humerus will be a medial structure. Your trochlea is going to be an anterior structure. And your uh, olecranon fossa will be posterior. So use these landmarks in order to orient yourself to whether it's right or left. So because the head is medial and the trochlea is on our anterior surface, this is going to be a left humerus. So going back to the top, we mentioned this is our uh, greater, tr greater tubercle. This is going to be our lesser tubercle. And this here is going to be a groove or sulcus that is located between two tubercles. So this is going to be called the intertubercular groove or intertubercular sulcus. So this sulcus is located between inter to tubercles, tubercular, and it is a groove or sulcus. So it's called the intertubercular sulcus. Next, we're going to talk about this part of the long bone that connects the two ends. Now, this is going to be a term we see with literally every single long bone we have. So the humerus, the radius, the ulna, the femur, the tibia, the fibula, all will have the same name for this long part that connects the two ends of the bone. And this is going to be the shaft of your long bone. So the shaft will be the long part that connects the head with the bottom part or connects the two ends of the bone. Next, we're gonna move on to the inferior portion of the bone. So at the bottom, on the anterior surface, we mentioned this irregularly shaped structure here. And this is gonna provide a pivot point around which the ulna can rotate. So when I do my lower arm videos, I'm gonna show you guys how the ulna rotates around this trochlea. So use the trochlea to your advantage. Remember, it's on the anterior surface and it can help you orient yourself to whether it's a right or a left humerus. So the trochlea we have on our anterior surface, now we're going to turn it over to our posterior or back surface. 
Remember we mentioned this indentation on the posterior aspect of the humerus? That's going to be our olecranon fossa. Once again, with the ulna, when I bring that out, we're going to talk about the olecranon, which is a landmark on the ulna. So the olecranon articulates into this olecranon fossa, and the trochlea of the humerus articulates into the trochlear notch of the ulna. So it's kind of like a lock and key mechanism for these two bones to articulate. Now, the last two landmarks we have are going to be called epicondyles. Now, the reason I oriented you guys to the medial versus lateral surface of these bones isn't just so you can identify right or left, but it's so you guys can identify whether it's going to be a medial or a lateral, uh, a lateral landmark. So at the distal end, the bottom end of your humerus, you're going to have two epicondyles. So the epicondyles are going to be smaller raised portion of that bone. Now, on the same side as the head of the humerus, you will have your medial epicondyle. On the opposite side or contralateral side of this bone, you're going to have the lateral epicondyle. So let's run that back real quick because I think we've covered all these landmarks. So the most proximal of these structures is going to be the head of the humerus. Very good. Smaller diameter right below is the neck. Perfect. We have our smaller of these two protrusions of bone, lesser tubercle, I'm sorry, yeah, tubercle, and then right here we have the greater tubercle, perfect. So then between, we're going to have the intertubercular groove or sulcus. The long skinny part of this bone connecting the two ends is the shaft, perfect. At the distal end, we have this irregularly shaped structure called the trochlea, perfect. On the opposite side of the head of the humerus, we had the lateral epicondyle, perfect. And on the same side of the head of the humerus was the medial epicondyle, excellent. At the very bottom, we had this indentation called the olecranon fossa, very good. Very good. You guys killed it. All right, guys, that's a wrap on the humerus. I hope you found this video super, super, super informative. And thanks, you guys, for all the likes and subscribes and shares. I see you guys out there sharing my content and trying to get it out there, helping your friends out, helping your classmates out, helping me out in the meantime. Thank y'all so much for stopping by. And I hope y'all suggest some videos because I'm seriously looking to make more content for you guys. Bye.